Hey folks, welcome back. It's Patrick Tipton here with Shop Time. We're working on the 43 Willys MB. It's been a couple of weeks of nasty northeast weather, but uh, I've been out, able to get out in the shop and do a bunch of things. I've got most of the Pioneer tool stuff done, and we've got uh, fitting points and attachment points, et cetera, that are all ready to go back on. I'm pretty happy with the way this is, is coming out. But today's episode is going to be about installing a new gas tank sump. Um, it was missing in the Jeep. They had covered it over and who knows what they were using for a gas tank. So I had to get a new gas tank. Um, this is a type one ACM tub. So it's got the square sided like a slack grill square sided gas tank sump. So I called up Joe's Motor Pool who was kind enough to, uh, to sell us one. It's a beautiful product. And they were also kind enough to throw in a little bit of money here and help us with the production today. So this is sponsored by Joe's Motor Pool. We're using their parts in a bunch of things on the Jeep here. The inner fender wells are Joe's motor pool. The rear panel is a Joe's motor pool. And this gas tank sump that we're going to install today is a Joe's motor pool. So there are a couple of tricks to installing a gas tank sump. We're ready to do that, but that's what we're going to cover today. And uh, let's get started. The gas tank sump was originally spot welded before the floor was actually attached to the rest of the body. We can't do that, so we're going to have to drill some holes in part of the mounting flanges and go ahead and use the MIG welder to spot those in. On the outside, there's a very narrow support channel and that support channel is actually spot welded to the edge of the body here. Now, a normal spot welder won't fit in into the channel, and so I ended up modifying the lower tong on my spot welder. We made a new lower tong, went online and found the correct uh, copper alloy to do that, and we went ahead and manufactured um, a new lower tong that will fit in there correctly so that we can go ahead and spot weld it. Um, I looked at a number of original Survivor Jeeps and you very clearly see the spot welds like you can in some of the areas, for example, where the Pioneer tools are. Um, and so I'd like to preserve that feature. So what we're gonna do is we are going to fit this back in. We will tack it in one or two spots uh, with the MIG welder to make sure it doesn't move. And then I'll go ahead and use that spot welder uh, with the new lower tong, and we'll put this all in there. Uh, and then I think we'll fill in the rest of the MIG holes and uh, call it a day. Oof. There we go, we got a little penetration right there. That's what I'm talking about. Tape's real happy. Mm -hmm. Electrical tape is real yeah, happy. Yeah, right. Smell that electrical tape? <laughs> the wafting smoke, but that just looks so pro, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at that compared to the front ones, they look exactly the same. Got that? Mm. <laughs> 
I've tried. I mean, this is a tough application too, so I'd rather have these spot wires be a little bit heavier, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know why it's not working? It's because it's not, it's not pinching it. Now it is. That's why. You think those things are hot now? A little bit. Well, they probably need to cool off a little bit, eh? <laughs> a little, little duty cycle. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, that is a wrap. I think we got that installed nicely again. Joe's Motor Pool uh, sump for the early Type 1 ACM tub went in great. Had to do a little bit of adjusting. Couple of learning points for you. One, when you're using these spot welders, you've got to clean that metal. It needs to be bright, 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 bright. And I did an okay job of cleaning some parts of it, but not good enough, so we had a little teething problems, which you'll see. Um, it also ends up making those tongs overheat a little bit, which causes them to wear out faster. So again, bright, bright, bright metal. This works really great on brand new metal, a little harder the older the metal gets. And I'd clean the inside of the tub pretty well. So um, this is where that channel goes in with my special tong. That worked out really well. Those came out nicely. Um, it was some, one other part that I hadn't paid as much attention to that there was a learning curve. So I'm gonna turn my attention to the passenger side now. I need to replace a bunch of passenger side floor and put that hat channel in on the passenger side floor as well. So that will come next. And once that gets done, we're gonna be putting this tub back on the frame and making sure everything lines back up and we'll spot weld the inner fender wells and that rear panel back in place. And then we're gonna be cleaning welds up, knocking a few dents out, doing a few of this and that. But this thing's getting pretty close to being ready for final prep and primer. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. This was sponsored by our friends at Joe's Motor Pool. So check out their website. You can also find them on eBay or give them a call. They're very helpful if you've got an MB or a GPW or some of the earlier pre-standardized Jeeps, uh, the MAs and the GPs. They've got great parts for those too. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is Patrick Tipton, Shop Time. Keep those corners square and get out in that shop and make something. Thanks. Thank you.